Good morning guys, welcome back to the show, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, uh, you guys mentioned that I have some kind of bald spot going on in the last video, I don't, I don't know, I think the way I did my moose in that video, I'm hoping, I'm hoping I'm not getting a bald spot, anywho, me and my brother, we went to go get some in and out, so uh, we're about to chow down and then start the build, hopefully we can finish the F10 in this video, fully wrapped up, so that's the goal of today, but anyway, uh, we gotta, we gotta fill up our stomachs with some in and out, so, I'll show you guys what we got. So my brother got these bad boys, I love bread so much more, but I've been getting the whole protein style ones, trying to keep it healthy, boy. So still good. Still got still got dual burgers, and you know, with my dual exhaust system. So we're gonna enjoy these. We're gonna chow them down. We're gonna watch some. What, what is this thing called? Kitchen nightmares. Kitchen Ford, nightmares. Ford <laughs> so while we're eating food, we're gonna hear people uh, talk shit about other people's food, right? Exactly. Good times. Good times. All right, I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, guys. Now that we're full, we're 100% ready to go. Uh, we are back outside here in the garage. So I think what we're gonna go ahead and do is knock out the doors just to get pretty much everything up done. And then we're gonna try to knock out the side skirts so that pretty much the whole front end of the car is done. And then we just have the rear bumper and the trunk. Um, I don't know which one we're gonna do last, but uh, let's just go ahead again. Both doors, both side skirt extensions. I just wanna knock those out so the whole side portfolio is mint. Again, guys, also I'm selling some very limited decals that have to do with this wrap right here. So whatever wrap I have left over, I'm gonna make some decals with them. Basically an ocean blue hashtag, see if you have new decal. If you guys wanna cop some of those, first thing down below. Without further ado, let's get right into the build. Before you actually do that, uh, I'm gonna show off my brother's work real quick. Check out this seam right here. That looks like paint, straight up. So good work, the op. That's awesome. Shout out to my bro. So yeah, we just killed this door. We annihilated it. it. Looks super good. Let's go ahead and close both doors real quick and check it out, guys. The dream is coming close to a reality. It looks absolutely insane. The chrome has got to go. I will be doing a chrome delete soon, guys. Right now, I'm just doing uh, the door handles. While my brother's actually about to do the other door, I'm actually working on a door handle right now. I took it apart to three pieces. I'll show you guys how to do the door handles just in case you have an F10. I'm taking it apart to three different pieces to make it absolutely perfect. You guys don't have to do this, but I am. So I'm testing it out on this one. If it works out, I'll show you guys. But my brother, I'm just gonna go ahead and lay out the wrap on that door. He's gonna go ahead and do it. But yeah, so far so good, guys. Look at all of this pretty much, you know, coming together complete. Uh, we do have to do the side skirt as well, but we're gonna knock out both, both doors first. Damn, guys. Anywho, let's go ahead and lay out that side real quick. I can't wait to get this car out of the garage fully wrapped. Guys, my brother is starting on this side. I just actually went ahead and finished the door handle. Check that out, guys. In three pieces, you have one little flaw up there, but that is no big deal considering how this actually came together. Like, check that out. That is gorgeous. I did this piece individually, this bottom piece, and this top piece all in three pieces. I still gotta put the gasket back on, but other than that, this has really been complete. Uh, this little screw hole right here, I'm probably gonna figure out a way to put some wrap in there. I don't know how that's gonna work. Only the driver's side has this, so yeah. But other than that, guys, I'm really happy and I'm super stoked with how this door handle came out. It looks so freaking good. So uh, I'll show you guys how to do this in a little bit. Watch my brother finish up this door real quick because I really wanna see all doors done. All right, guys, my brother pretty much finished the door. I think I'm gonna go ahead and help him with that door handle. So once I'm finished with that, he could just go ahead and wrap the side skirt and I'll just work on the two leftover door handles. So as you guys can see from this side, we have both door handles on. This is the black and uh, taking a closer look at it, I think that came out freaking great. So since I did it in three parts, there's no place peeling it, not even from the back, not from the front. It literally feels so good. Even this piece is defined because I wrapped that out. It's all about the details. I wanted this thing to look super good. Now it's still a little off on the side angle because that isn't wrapped, that isn't wrapped. Also, the trim is all chrome, it's gotta go, and this is still not wrapped, so we're gonna be wrapping that black as well. Can't wait for that side skirt to be blue just to match, but it's really coming together already, boys. But yeah, guys, we got so much work to do, so much has been done, we just gotta keep going, so uh, let's keep working. Guys, check out this side. We have the door handles on, the side skirts done. So even we went above and beyond 
and went all the way inside with the side skirt. So that looks really good. The only portion we didn't do is like right there in the middle, as you guys can see, because it's like a little ball. It's a super pain to even try to wrap that, but you never even notice it when you open up either door. So uh, yeah, I mean, you're pretty much, you're pretty much good. So that came out really good. I'm so proud of myself on those door handles. Something did just come in the mail from Amazon and that is the hood emblem. Uh, actually, technically it's not a hood emblem anymore, it's a bumper emblem. So let's go ahead and slap that on because I'm sure that's gonna make a huge difference in the front end appearance. So let's go ahead and just slap that on and then we'll go ahead and work on the other side of the car. Guys, I really brought together the front end, <laughs> that BMW logo, and it's blue. Can't really beat that. That looks super good. All right, so the, uh, I know the side skirt was a pain, but we're gonna have to do it again. One more time for the boys, all right? So we're gonna go ahead and do the side skirt one more time, um, and then we'll be done with that. And also, I gotta work on this door handle. It's the last one. This door handle is done. So I'm actually gonna continue working on that real quick. Uh, do you want a small break, or you're good to go? You're set? So actually, we might actually start the side skirt then, and then when my brother wants a break, I'll start working on this and the door handle. So without further ado, guys, uh, let's get into it. This is coming together so nicely. All right, guys, let's just show you guys how I took apart the door handle. Handle. basically this pops up and you pretty much take it right out of the way there's a bolt right there once you get that bolt there you grab the top you grab the bottom you separate it there's some tabs holding it from the back so you don't want to separate it from the back you want to separate it from the front you separate that and then basically inside of here there's a tab there there's a tab uh, right here I pretty much broke this front tab on every single one to pop out this piece and then uh, I just pretty much glued it back on because it's held on by 3m but there's no way you can get 3M that, that thin, so I just went ahead and just glued it back on. It was good to go, so yeah. Super easy to take apart, super easy to take off the car, super easy to put on the car. Probably my favorite car to do door handles with. And just like that, guys, check that out. I went ahead and just finished that. I think this is pretty some pretty good work. You guys let me know down in the comments, but I'm super happy with how this came out. Oh my God, it's beautiful. So went ahead, fully assembled it with the light and everything. We just have to connect this last one. I do have to work on the door now. So let's work on the door and then get this last door handle. I'm super happy with all the precision work my brother been doing. Uh, if you guys have been enjoying the content, make sure you smash the like button. I love you guys so much. guys couple hours later we just finished this side skirt and uh, this door is put back together that door is put back together door handle and everything and of course also the inner looks super good so what do you guys think so far obviously these have got to go the gray interior is actually looking better and better um, as we're actually getting this thing wrapped up blue and black mainly because it just looks like kind of like the ocean vibe it kind of works as gray interior, but I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this wood and add something else. Get rid of the steering wheel, add some paddle shifters, and also probably something completely custom from Aza Wheels. And then these seats, I'm actually thinking we're putting M5 seats in here, the gray ones. So I think if we put two gray M5 seats, it's really gonna pull together the whole interior. Custom steering wheel, instead of the brown, we'll add something crazy, maybe some carbon fiber, something super sick. Obviously get rid of this and make this black. A lot of plans for this car, guys. Comment down below any ideas we could do with the interior. A full interior swap on this car would cost way too much. We need a dash, carpets, seats, center console, roof, pillars, everything like that. It, it would just cost too much. Obviously, it can be done, but we're probably looking about like a $1,500 to $2,000 job, especially considering the color. I'd probably swap it with. It would be like brown or white or something like that. So it's not worth doing black if you're gonna do all this work. You wanna get something super unique. It would be super nice. Like, guys, doesn't it look pretty good? It would be super nice though if that was white interior. I don't know, should I do some kind of thing on the channel where if we, if we have over 200 orders of decals, I go ahead and get a full custom interior is that something you guys think we should do? Um, so I could do that whole conversion for you guys. Just as right now, it's just not really cost effective. It's very expensive. So let me know down below if you guys want to see a custom full interior. Um, and and if, if we reach 200, 200 orders on decals of this wrap. Because actually, we have a lot of wrap left. So I think we can make quite a bit of orders for you guys. Again, it's an idea. Let me know down below. I'm just going to wait on my brother. And I'll let you guys know what's next. All right, guys. We kind of used the trunk as our table. Now we're going to have to detail the trunk. Remove this spoiler. We don't want that anymore. We're gonna get carbon fiber spoiler and then uh, also remove the tail lights, plates, emblem, all that good stuff. And then we can finally be able to wrap this thing. I think we need goo gone for the spoiler. How do you remove the spoiler? Actually, Junior used heat and then he used his fingers to like move it off. Oh. That was smarter. 
Okay, we do that. Didn't even know that. Thank God it doesn't have an emblem. You know, that's a super pain. So that's awesome. So we just have to remove the spoiler, get off all the all the gunk, and then wrap it all and then throw on a spoiler. Uh, we don't have the spoiler just yet, but we'll be doing that pretty soon. Guys, the car is filthy. You guys, we'll see it tomorrow morning. The lighting in here is not the greatest, but the car in person looks super good. The chrome just has to go. It's really throwing off the car. We just finished the trunk. We just finished the rear bumper. It is literally 12.30. I saw you guys destroyed the like button yesterday. So you see your boy literally stand up late. I'm gonna have to edit this tonight and get it out to you guys by 12 tomorrow. So shout out to you guys. So we have that little piece down there that we're gonna have to wrap. And we also have the side mirrors also. This came out literally perfect. Bumper came out absolutely perfect. We even removed the diffuser to make it work perfectly. We removed all the trimming, the molding, even the tail lights to make it all perfect. And we also removed these turn signals to have it flush all one piece the whole bumper is one piece that came out perfect super happy at how this is coming along now it definitely needs a spoiler some carbon on the side here some more carbon it's definitely gonna need a lot of black accents because this is a very bright blue definitely needs some more black we're gonna go ahead and get rid of all that the car needs a lot more black i think the roof also will look super good once we clean it off right now it's filthy so uh yeah tomorrow morning you guys will see a full cinematic on it but it's really coming together guys like i'm in love with this car right now it just looks stunning especially the front end with the carbon fiber lip Oh my god, the hood also, just these little vents make all of a difference. Without further ado guys, uh, it is a little late, but we're not gonna conclude it because again, you guys destroyed the like button, so we're gonna have to stay up tonight and we're gonna go ahead and do these side mirrors as well. So we got both sides, let's go ahead and remove them. I hope they're not a pain and uh, get them wrapped up. Cause it's just behind it. Guys, so if you just take a look at it real quick, I'll go ahead and turn on the flashlight for y'all, but check that out. So that looks absolutely insane. So we're gonna hopefully guys show you guys this tomorrow morning, but look at it right here, the black mirror caps. The roof is super dirty, but uh, full car is wrapped up. All right guys, and just like that, the mirrors are on the car. So as you guys can see, the car is complete. It's just chilling there. So I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. As for now, the beast is officially fully wrapped up. Now we're about to get into some performance and a bunch of interior goodies and a lot more carbon, but at least the wrap is on the car. And this front end looks absolutely insane with the M5 fenders, the souvenir hood, and the Keys Motorsports front bumper, and this lip, like the transformation of the front end is absolutely insane. We need a transformation like the front also in the back because this looks crazy, guys. I didn't think I was actually gonna like the 5 Series, but after this wrap and after everything we've done to it, it actually looks pretty insane. So I'm starting to really like this car. So uh, let's keep sending it, let's keep sending it, boys. Anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. I gotta get all the cars out, in and out, and uh, yeah, I gotta edit this video. It is 2 a.m. right now, it is, it's pretty rough, so. I promise you guys a video, you guys are gonna get it. All right guys, good night, I'll see you tomorrow morning. Literally, you'll see me tomorrow morning, peace out. All right guys, good morning. This is the next morning, you guys. Me and my brother stayed up super late wrapping the car for you guys, and I'm actually inside editing right now, but I forgot we have to record the car out in the sunlight. I pretty much wiped down the roof and everything. Car still needs a car wash, and it still needs a cinematic, but as for now, Let's show you guys how the car looks. So she's just chilling like a villain. So you guys probably said the blue tips didn't look good earlier. What do you guys think now? So the whole rear end, oh my God, this thing looks, literally reminds me of the M3. This color really reminds me of Marina Blue, which looks super sick. The front end is super aggressive. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get over this car pretty easy. Um, I like how the small little details really pull together the whole car. Like this emblem really pulled together the whole front end. <laughs> I mean, guys, check that out. It definitely needs to go a little bit low. Maybe some spacer on the wheels. These wheels are actually really nice, but just really dirty right now. Let me know if I should do that spacers and then lower it. Uh, but as for now, I think it just needs a lot more carbon. 
everything. It's gonna look super good. The windows are already tinted, which is perfect, but I am gonna be blacking out these guys pretty soon. Mirror caps we blacked out last night. Um, guys, what do you think? This looks insane. So, spoiler is an absolute must. It looks butt naked without it. So, we're gonna go ahead and place an order on that right now. What do you guys think? Do you think my brother did a good job? Because uh, I think we did. I mean, we put a lot of time into this. Probably the best wrap job we've ever done, me and my brother before. The fun thing about wrapping is that every time you wrap a car, you learn from it. And I think this car, the only mistakes we did was not taking off the front bumper. Other than that, I think the rest of the car came out literally perfect. So if you guys want to see a cinematic on that, make sure to smash that like button. And if you guys want to see some carbon fiber and a bunch of wheel mods and a bunch of interior mods and a bunch of engine mods, make sure to smash that like button. Without further ado, guys, I'm going to head inside, wrap up this video. It is my second day in a row, so uh, pretty much had no sleep. So I'm going to head inside, get that edited for you guys. Without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.